Well, mental models uh, is, a, is a jargon term that we adopted many, many years ago. We actually, I think, um, started using it because the people we were working at at Shell uh, use the term mental models in their planning process. They used to say that plans are just plans and maybe they're useful, maybe they're not useful, but the planning process can always be useful if it forces managers to challenge their mental models. And mental models in that sense are the internal picture of the world. So I have a, a picture of my customer. I have a picture of the marketplace. I have a picture of the competitive landscape. None of those are factual. They're all internalized uh, interpretations. Um, but that's inescapable. So you cannot be a living system. You cannot be a human being without having mental models. None of us have a family in our head, but we have lots of internalized images and pictures and feelings about our families. So that constellation of kind of inner uh, awareness of a setting or a subject or a particular domain is what we call mental models, our internalized pictures of the world. I 